the best of 6050. So we have some new options available with this system from NCIX. You guys remember we showed you the prototype process as well as some of the uh, design procedures that we go through here at NCIX. So we actually have a new graphics card that came out today. This is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570. So we've got a couple of those. So we're showing the performance edition of this tower, which features the TX850 watt power supply, the storage drive, dual cards, H70, as well as uh, faster memory. All right, so this all comes in the Fractal Design Define XL case. Now there's another thing that came out today, and I wish this video was a little bit better than it is because what happened is uh, 3D Mark 11 came out and we were like, yeah, okay, let's throw some GTX 570s in the Vesta 6050 prototype and let's find out how well it runs, except that SLI is not supported in 3D Mark 11 on the GTX 570 just yet. So we got under the extreme preset a score of 1687. So remember we are running an i7-950 processor. We've got 12 gigs of RAM and we've also got for all intents and purposes a single GTX 570. So I can go ahead and uh, let's start running 3D Mark 11 here. If I can figure out how to do it. There we go, run extreme. So I want to, obviously we're not gonna make it all the way through the test, but I wanna talk a little bit about the different tests. So test number one has no tessellation, heavy lighting from multiple sources. And so remember, 3D Mark 11 is a DirectX 11 benchmark. So we're actually, even though test number one doesn't have any tessellation, other tests, are using tessellation. So tests two and test three both use medium tessellation with medium lighting and then with one light. And then test number four uses extensive tessellation with many different lights. So actually here, yeah, you can see test number one is running at a whopping nine FPS. Uh, so we can check out those submarines. I uh, I can't wait until it's like every every 3D Mark releases like this. You're like, oh man, this looks so cool. I can't wait till I can actually like see what's going on because I have a decent frame rate. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for like GTX 980 or whatever where we're finally going to be able to see what it looks like when it's running butter smooth. Anyway, there's two CPU tests, which has been the tradition. Um, well, at least for the last release of 3D Mark. So the first one does a lot of rigid body physics. Uh, there's a fixed resolution, so no matter what preset you're running at, it's going to run at the same low res because it is only testing the physics calculations. And then, unlike the previous 3D Mark Vantage, the other physics test also has, by the way, it supports direct compute, so that means your graphics card's going to chip in whether you're using NVIDIA or ATI but it also runs at the resolution of the rest of the tests. It does some PhysX stuff, but it also has a lot of other stuff going on, including tessellation and including lighting effects. So that's pretty cool because that one is probably the closest out of everything here to what a real gaming workload is gonna look like because it relies both on the CPU as well as the GPU in order to do all of the rendering and calculations and all that good stuff. So thanks for checking out this little video on our 3D Mark 11 score with the uh, GTX 570. I guess it was also kind of an overview of 3D Mark 11 as a whole. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And I don't know why this is here. And I don't know why this is here. Can I have my head back? No.